I'm George Mayhe, and I eat out all the time. As dining editor of St. Louis Magazine, it's my job to check out restaurants in the St. Louis area, from Collinsville to Cottleville and everywhere in between. First Bite takes you to the newest, hottest dining spots, giving you hints and how-tos. It's all you need to know before you go. Today we're in downtown St. Louis at the Flying Saucer Draft Emporium. This is a shrine to beer, a place where beer is king. And what better location than in St. Louis, a city synonymous with the king of beers. There are 80 beers on tap, more than anywhere else in St. Louis. But how to organize them so customers can follow them? We try to start geographically with our tap wall. Um, the tap wall here uh, starts over on the East Coast, works its way through the Midwest, and we've got our 20 Missouri taps before we bump on over into Colorado, start in Southern California, work our way north up the West Coast uh, through Oregon, uh, and then we hop over the pond over to UK, Ireland, Belgium, Germany, um, and get all of those classic old world styles. We are at the famous flying saucer kiosk, but I have no idea what that is. Can you explain that to me, please? Well, first I'd like to start with what the UFO club is. Okay. It's a beer club for people who love beer, obviously, and you're at the right place for it. The goal of the club is to drink 200 different beers. This pint glass will fill up as time goes on as you drink more beer. But we have our beer finder. You can select bottles, drafts, bowl. But there always is something that's rotating, something that's always different. We always have new beers for people to try. You may be surprised that the Flying Saucer is located 200 yards from Bush Stadium, but it doesn't serve any of Anheuser-Busch's mainstream beers. We do have several options from that family of beers. Um, the Spaten beers from over in Germany, Goose Island from up in Chicago. People that come to the Flying Saucer are looking to try something different. They're looking to have a beer that they might not have heard of before. One quarter of the beer taps are from Missouri, an impressive number by Flying Saucer standards. That is way more local beer than we have in most of our locations. There was just so many great breweries making so much great beer uh, that we felt we wouldn't be uh, doing them any service to, to not be able to put on as much of the local beer as we wanted to, so we ended up with 20. On a limited beer budget, there's a daily fire sale beer at a price everyone can afford. You can order a flight of five similar beers, or you can create your own. Now I'm partial to wheat beers, and I think I found a new favorite. One perk of joining the UFO Club is getting your name on a plate in the Ring of Honor, an honor reserved for those who sample at least 200 different beers. I'm a proud member of the UFO Club. Right. Semi-obsessed. Semi-obsessed. We're trying to uh, get the old plate up on the wall in the Ring of Honor. When we first started, we thought someone drinking 200 different beers was going to be the wildest and craziest thing ever. Um, and now we have people like Frank the Tank down in San Antonio that have done the Ring of Honor 200 different beers more than 40 times. One of the perks of this job is I get to eat some pretty great food. And of course, I have some recommendations at the Flying Saucer. There you well, are, thank George. you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. One of them is this bratwurst that comes on a bakery bun, and I like to team it up with some German potato salad and make it an all German meal. My other favorite is the pretzels. These are really great. One reason I like them is they're the lightest pretzels I've ever had. They come with several different dipping sauces. And I'm kind of a fan of hot mustard, so I might just go for that one. Let me tell you, it's hot. If you're like most St. Louisans, you want to park right by the front door. But if you can't get these spots, go right across the street, where parking is only a couple bucks, except on game days when it's considerably more. The lot in back works the same way, but this one is free after 6 p.m. and on weekends. One of my favorite places to hang out at the Flying Saucer is on the patio overlooking Bush Stadium on game day. I don't think you could get any closer than I am right now. Foul ball. Who, who hit that thing? That's all from the Flying Saucer Draft Emporium. To find out more about the saucer, visit us online at stlmag.com. See you next time on First Bite.